Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Try the Alone in the Dark Prologue. Uh, this was recently brought to my attention by um, Reaver of Jewel Sandwiches in my Discord. Uh, I had kind of heard that there was a new Alone in the Dark on the horizon, but apparently this came out a few days ago. Um, very detached from the internet these days due to you know, still being stuck on copper broadband in 2023. Um, so let's have a look. Now, I don't know a huge amount about Alone in the Dark. Um, I obviously know the series and I know it's one of the uh, staples of survival horror, but apart from playing um, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare on the Dreamcast, uh, which, you know, we did that a few years ago. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Very traditional uh, style of um, survival horror, I suppose. You know, complete with static camera angles and ghouls and things. It was okay. It was fine. Um, I think if I'd really gotten into it back in the day, I probably would have enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I did rent it back on the PlayStation 1, but that didn't go very well, <laughs> from what I remember. And of course, uh, we did also do Alone in the Dark, the, was it 2008 reboot that dropped uh, on the 360 and PS3, but that was a steaming load of fucking shit, and uh, we're going to quickly forget about that one and move on. So, I don't really know uh, anything about this pre-order now I don't think so let's have a little look here it's a uh, dynamic range my monitor doesn't support that must get a new monitor this year actually so we're on 1080 I don't think on 1080 we're gonna need DLSS with a 4080 don't think so um, everything's set to epic I suppose Shadow quality. Let's let, let's really get that 4080 to stretch its legs, shall we? Um, so uh, I have no idea what this game exactly is about. Uh, I guess it's some kind of reboot. Frame rate. Let's not go for unlimited because you know that adds a lot of weirdness. All right. Okay. I guess we just push E or push escape. Uh, I think that saved everything. Let's have a look. I have absolutely no idea what this is about, by the way. Lone in the dark. So she's uh, making a creepy ass mask out of a Alone in the Dark <laughs> script. What could possibly go wrong, eh? All right, so it's third person. Visually, it's, yeah, yeah, all right. It's looking pretty nice. Seems to be running very nice and smooth, which, well, <laughs> we can't really say that about many modern games, can we? Right, what can we interact with? A jack-in-the-box. I guess we're interacting with it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's fine. That's not creepy. Um, yeah, running very smooth, which is uh, very rare. I guess we're interacting with these things with our mind. Not my best work, if I'm being honest. All right, she's got a voice. 
That's the thing. Can we wear the mask? To paint this. Gonna give it a big mustache. Oh, will you do that? You do that. She's got a lot of toys. I'm guessing she's a rich um kid. Is that all we can fiddle with in here? Alright. Yeah, visually it's very nice, actually. Ooh. That nice bit of ray tracing on the mirror there. Mm. Oh, we've got birds. Well, the music's kicking up a little bit. We're not getting any creepy uh, horror vibes, but, you know, whatever. Look at this mess. I know! Two bottles and a magazine on that couch. Couch looks like it could use a clean as well, to be fair, but, you know. I guess we can't leave. The flyer title. <laughs> the flyer title, seriously. Oh, hello. Oh goodness, you scared me. What are you up to, Jeremy? I have to tell someone what is going on here. I have to try. You're not one of them, are you? Please tell me, Grace. You're not a spy, are you? Who spy? Them, the others, all of them. No, you're too innocent. I'm too innocent. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Just give it to the clerk, Mr. Waits, and he'll post it. No, he could be in on it. What if he won't post my letter? Then don't make it look like it's one of yours. Here, let me do it. Hmm, she's quite smart. Miss Emily Hartwood, Dauphin Street, New Orleans. You don't have the number? I'm not sure the postman's gonna find it without... <laughs> He's peaced out. Jeremy? Where'd he go? Let the kid deal with it. I'll just post it myself then. <laughs> so, um, Jeremy... I'll just take this letter downstairs to the clerk's office myself. Was Jeremy the original character from the original game? Because he's kind of dressed the same, this green jacket and the brown pants. How are there hmm. so many books in this house and still nothing I want to read? Ah, uh, it's probably just boring adult stuff, you know. Have a look at the typewriter. Uh-oh, Cassandra, I'm touching your typewriter. <laughs> so we've got Cassandra, we've got Jeremy. All right, Stairhall Key, we'll take that. I'd prefer to be picking up a shotgun, but, you know. I wish Batiste would drive me around all day. Maybe if I broke my leg. Well, that can be arranged. Not that difficult. Okay, so we have, um, <laughs> food <laughs> on the, uh, <laughs> on the wall here. Okay, yeah. We are truly amongst the, uh, upper class of society here. Guess we can't do anything with that. Alright, so I guess we're living in some kind of mansion. Um, which, you know, makes sense for a horror game. The only thing so far that's missing is the shotgun. We've even got keys. I guess we're not going out here. Oh, we are going out here, apparently. Oh, uh, I guess Patrice or whoever the cleaner is, is definitely not taking much uh, care of this room I already washed my hands today yes well I don't think you'd actually all right I don't actually think you'd get um, cleaner by using that oh look at this bathtub oh can we not oh can we not empty it out that's such a missed opportunity Cassandra should be more careful with her medicine. Maybe she should, or maybe we should drink some of the medicine. I mean, after all, it is in a rather colourful, attractive bottle. You know, eh? No child locks on the bottles back then. <laughs> all right. Nothing in the bathroom. I mean, I like the movement, and I like the way the game controls. Got nice graphics, and um. 
The ambience is very nice. There's a little bit of film grain though. Probably turn that off. Oh, it's got the Resident Evil style item usage, which I don't mind. Okay, this is a little bit different. They're so creepy. Hmm. But then, oh, hello. Ooh. Yeah, Jeremy, what have you done? Is this your doing, Jeremy? I like this. I'm hoping, though, that this game isn't going to be a walking simulator. I want grenade launchers and flamethrowers and gatling guns and zombies trying to eat my face. So what is this? Not sure. I guess we can only go this way. We need a key. So, where would there be a key? Is there a key hanging from one of these figures? Doesn't look like it. And we can't interact with this thing. Which is surprising. Guess we're not going back that way. Hey, Jeremy, what have you done with the key, lad? Hmm. You would have thought if we're looking for a key, it would have been highlighted. Ah, we can actually go down here. I thought this was blocked off. I'm a stupid ass. Alright. Let's try not to fall and break our leg. Oh, the way a skirt moves and like... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice bit of physics going on. Ooh. Oh, we... <laughs> Stay, demon! Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, we're going to climb onto the bear. That seems to make sense. Oh, we're going to kick the bear over first. By mashing the space bar. Because this space bar hasn't had enough punishment recently. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully there's no giant crab monsters in here. Okay. What you need? Oh, look at the facial animations. Okay. Okay, they've put some money into this. THQ, I believe. Oh, man. There's a few of them. We need a triple barrel shotgun. And we need one now. I like the way she's not that bothered about what's going on. This is just, you know, this is just another, you know, another day. It's fine. I suppose this mess pales in comparison to the foyer. Yeah, you're incredibly calm about the situation. Very calm. I mean, that's fine. I get. You know what? <laughs> I quite like this girl. I don't know if we're um I don't know if she's gonna be the main character or what. But we still need a key Mr. for that Waits. door. Hello? Mr. Waits. Slave? Do we have slaves? This game's set in the nineteen thirties, right? So probably not. We can't do anything there. Um, handbag? I mean, that's a... Uh, that could have had a key in it. Some glasses. Some cookies. Oh, look. There's a lot of flies in here. Nothing in the bucket. Guess we can't go outside. Now, if I was a key... Oh, hello.
Is that it? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know what to make of that. Last night I dreamt that my uncle hung himself in the attic, that we were too late. The house looked different, but it was still called Dorsetto. Definitely a weird place. Feels like I've been here before, I just can't think why. Hey, that's Harper from Stranger Things, isn't Let's it? Let's not waste any time, Detective. Yeah, you're right. Let's go get your uncle, Miss Hartwood. He's the only actor I know. <laughs> because I watched that. So we're going to play as those two. All right. And he's got a gun. So kind of similar to um, previous Alone in the Dark games, I suppose. You're going to have two characters. Now, whether you're going to swap between them during the game or whether you're going to pick a character and have two different stories, I don't know. Um, I'm game. The monsters look cool. Uh, certainly very nice visually and the audio was pretty top-notch and the game ran well which as I've previously stated that that's very uncommon these days huh yeah maybe we'll uh, we'll look this one up when it comes out it's gonna be a case of uh, checking the reviews though before I, I jump on any any unknown in the future because well do you remember the Callisto protocol I remember the Callisto Protocol. Biggest waste of money I've ever, I think I've ever spurged. I would say um, that one of the biggest wastes of money would have been the ring on the Dreamcast, but um, luckily that was a ROM. Imagine spending money on that. Okay, yeah, um, I'm, I'm interested. Very interested. We shall see. We shall see what happens when the game comes out, but yeah, promising. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.